Hey you guys, welcome back. Welcome to my jungle. Uh, I just wanted to share with you this Amophorphallus konjac. Uh, it is growing beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Um, it was really, really late to the party. It didn't start growing until, I'm going to say, probably close to midsummer. And then when it did start to grow, it just exploded with growth. And right now it is, I don't have a tape measure. I wish I did. I'm going to say it's close to four feet tall. Um, when I, let me stand up to it. It's in a pot. The pot is about 12 inches tall. So, anyway, if, if I stand up, uh, you're not able to see, but it comes, oh, yeah, you can see. It's on camera. It comes up to about here, just almost my chest. And I am six foot six. So, there we go. <laughs> it is, um, uh, it is a really, really tall, beautiful plant. It's kind of a palm tree-esque thing, and it's so cool! Uh, so, this one here will probably have another month of growing. Uh, I am going to be cutting back the watering pretty well to nil at this moment, because I do want it to go dormant, so I'm going to try to force it that way. But because it started so late, uh, it's not going to go down easily. Um, some of these that started earlier have already started to wither, and they're doing their own thing, so these ones for sure the water has been cut off. The uh, the stem on this is already shriveling up, and it's it's very soft. So, in the next coming weeks, these will get chopped back, and I might just leave them in the pot of soil and keep them dry, but uh, not too sure yet. Sometimes I uproot them and uh, and and just see what's going on, and then I store them dry on a shelf. Um, but these ones I'm not sure what I'm going to do this time. Every year it's a different thing. Here is another one. I guess this one started a little bit late. Uh, this one's still looking beautiful. It's not shriveling at the, at the stem. So this one here, again, like this one, it's going to be a little bit uh, later to go dormant. And then this one here, this one was really, really late. This was one of the little baby uh, baubles that um, I was sending out two people earlier in the spring. And uh, this really started late. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think it was going to come too. So this one's going to stand under the grow lights, and we'll see how long it takes to go down. Um, I'm going to continue to water this one until I see that it starts to yellow. The reason being is I want it to really work on, on its uh, bulb, its corm. Um, these big ones that have grown before, I don't really care. They're going to have uh, more energy stored up. This one I want it to store as much energy as it can before it goes down goes down for dormancy. So, again, with these guys, uh, they're not cold tolerant. They can get hit by a little bit of frost before you bring them in. That's cool, but they don't want to be constantly cold. So I wouldn't store them necessarily in a cold garage. I would keep them in your basement. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to store them dry or whether you want to store them in their soil. Uh, either way works. Just make sure that they stay dry. Um, and uh, in the springtime, you'll start noticing a little bit of a pink nubbin, and that's when you know that it's uh, it's time to start planting them. Uh, so it's it's all subjective. Uh, every bulb or corm is going to be at its own pace. So to to follow a specific rule uh, for growth is probably the wrong thing to do. Um, you you are going to be able to force them into growth a little bit sooner. But I tried to get this one to grow early. And it didn't do anything. After it bloomed, it was kind of rest, rest, rest before it started to uh, to do its thing. And I was watering, and and the the side shoots were coming up and growing, but the main the main big bulb just wanted to sleep. So uh, sometimes you just have no control. Anyway, also uh, with this guy, you might not get a bloom every year. You might get a bloom every other year or every third year. So keep that in mind. It's probably good to have several bulbs going on. They multiply like crazy, so that's a possibility to have, to have uh, several. But uh, just keep in mind that, that if you had a flower this year, you might not have a flower next year. So don't be disappointed. Um, it's just the way that it goes. Anyway, uh, happy growing everyone. I hope you enjoyed this update and uh, stay tuned for more. Join the Plants and Things What's Growing page. It's a lot of fun. A lot of great people. Uh, also join the regular what's uh, sorry just the regular plants and things Facebook page. Uh, it's not as much fun there, but I try to post as much as I can. 
Um, yeah. Anyway, happy growing, everyone. I don't know. I don't got. I don't got space. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just recently bought two of these shop lights. They are two bulb shop lights, T8s, and I'm putting them, I don't know whether you can see it, but I've got the uh, the black 